There you go. Yep. Hey everyone, it's Chris Pallone from NBC 13, Don Hawes. We're outside the Rose Bowl tonight, and uh, we just finished up our live bowl special. It's uh, late in Birmingham, about 10.30 at night, 8.30 here. We're going to go get some dinner, hopefully. But uh, Don, we're finally, we're finally here. Yeah, I feel like I've driven to the edge of the ocean, and there is the oasis. Yeah. This is what we've been waiting yeah. for for 31 days now. Yeah. It's good to be in the parking lot here in Pasadena. It really is. I drove up earlier today. I had to see the Million Dollar Band over in Glendale. I also saw some Alabama students who were um, serving the homeless here in Pasadena. They wanted to do a service project wrapped around this big game. And as I was driving here, I finally started seeing some mountains. It was breathtaking. But tonight, I didn't see the Rose Bowl until I actually came here to do this live shot. And as I came around the corner, I was on this little bridge, and I could kind of see some lights peeking out. I crossed this bridge, and I saw that Rose Bowl <laughs> logo and the searchlights, and I, I really got chills in the car. And now we're slowly, and I mean slowly, starting to get a feel that fans are coming to this game. Because here in L.A., it's so spread yeah. out. You know, usually when you go to a bowl game or a, a regular season game on the road, there's kind of a central location where the fans stay sure. at a hotel or two. But yeah. L.A. is so big and so spread out, we really haven't seen any fans. But even at our media hotel down in Newport Beach, started to see some fans roll in there today. And then when we came up here to the stadium today, uh, quite a few fans, it's chilly out here, walking around in their, uh, their Alabama pullovers and their parkas and things like that. So uh, I think the family's going to have a pretty good crowd out here tomorrow. This is, dare I say, unique uh, because you go to Baton Rouge, you know where the fans are, okay? You're in Los Angeles or, or, or Southern California, really. You've got people from Newport Beach. I know some folks who are staying uh, in Glendale, places far north, coming down from San Francisco tomorrow, coming up from San Diego. So there is no one central location. You know, I, I did go by a uh, merchandise shop today, and I asked the woman, uh, who's selling better? And she said, up until today, Alabama by far, she said the Texas fans are starting to show up because a lot more of them are driving. But it uh, looks like it could be a good crowd for Alabama. I, I, you know, these two traditional schools have fantastic fan bases. They're basically going to travel wherever they have to. Heck, we know people who have spent a whole lot of money that, you know, maybe they don't have. But you always hear the one thing, I may never see this again in my lifetime. I, I, I don't really buy that because if Nick Saban's going to stay around, right. I, it may not be in Pasadena, but I right. think we're going to be at another championship game sooner than later if Saban stays around. Absolutely. and But the thing that you have to remember, too, is that it's hard to win. Uh, fans, fans are um, spoiled a little bit by the quick success, but as a fan of the Patriots and Red Sox, I thought their stretches were going to go on forever, and now we're seeing it doesn't. I think you're right. I think they'll be back, but uh, you can't take it for granted. And, and I know people have spent upwards of $800 for tickets. Today I'm hearing that people here on the property have spent $450. So price is coming down a little bit, but uh, still pricey. And here's the good news. Um, it's going to be beautiful weather for this game. And that's one thing you don't want for a championship game. I, and I, and I, I reflect back to when the Colts beat the Bears in the Super Bowl in Miami right. a couple years ago, and it was just a downpour. Yeah. It's going to be 70 degrees. I think probably near the end of the game, it's going to be 50 degrees, mid-40s. It's going to be ideal football weather. The field at the Rose Bowl inside here behind us in perfect, ideal condition. So the elements will not be a factor in this game. No, they really won't. And uh, it's all been said. So I'm kind of tired of talking about it. Tee it up. I want to talk about a game we just saw instead of a game we're going It's to going to be unbelievable to sit in the press box and watch a game. And uh, we're, we're excited that you've been with us uh, all. Uh, you've been here since uh, Friday. I got here Sunday. We're excited that you've been here with us. And uh, we hope you stay with us tomorrow night during the game. Go to BamaChannel.com and uh, Twitter. We'll have insight and analysis. And uh, enjoy the game. See ya.